Good morning, kings and queens. I'm coming to you from my car. I just had an okay workout. Um, I've been working a lot, a lot of hours this uh, last few weeks, 60 plus. So it's been cutting into my workouts, which really upsets me. Anyways, I did get my cardio in, so that's awesome. All right, so I haven't checked in with you guys for a couple days, and it's just because I've been in uh, seclusion and just trying to take some time out for myself. Um, just like Jesus, sometimes it's really important that we take, um, you know, go into seclusion and have that time with our Father um, just to strengthen us. Um, I'm just like all of you. I have my down days. I have the, the days that I feel sorry for myself, that I feel like, oh, I just can't do this another day, or, or fear and doubt, you know, start to seep in. Um, so I'm very human, and I have to humble myself uh, before you guys and let you know that, that... Um, uh, you know that I do have those days too, um, but to counteract those days, I know that I have to pray, I have to go into seclusion, I have to think about things, I have to remember why I'm doing this, I have to remember who counts on me um, and who I count on. Um, I know that I can't do this on my own, I know that I don't do this on my own, um, so I have to remember that and I have to have that time with my father. Um, I don't want to feel um, as though I'm being burdened by people. I don't want to feel like, you know, people are sucking the life out of me. I don't want to feel like this isn't, you know, fun or happy anymore because I want to be in a in a, a constant state of thanksgiving. I am so, so, so blessed to be a part of so many different people's lives that are on this journey of weight loss and health. And I get to be a part of their lives and I'm so, so blessed to be able to do that. Some of these people have been trying to lose weight for 30 plus years. Uh, others, you know, you know, 10 or 20, but no matter what, most of the people that come to me, they've been, they've tried everything and they've, you know, and they've always come back to the same place that they are right now. So I have an extreme opportunity to be able to walk with them and to talk with them and, uh, it's not always easy, you know. Uh, I'm going through all my issues and all my problems, and so are they. And we have to walk it together. So uh, it's it could be a lot. It could be very strainful at times. That's why I have to take that time apart and uh, take care of myself. And that's what I want to try to teach all of you guys as well, because we have mothers out there. A lot of my clients are mostly women, but we have mothers and wives and you know people are working hours and they're taking care of their families and it's really hard to fit in all the meal planning and the grocery shopping and the exercising and you know life just gets away from us but we have to take care of ourselves first before we can take care of anyone else um, but I just want to thank you guys because I, I am so so blessed um, to be able to walk this journey with you um, I'm so so blessed to be able to have a platform um, of people that want to hear from me, uh, talk about Jesus and about God, and I want to magnify his image, and I want to show, you know, what it means to be a real Christian and to walk Christ-like. Um, I want to inspire people. I want people to come to me and ask me for help that want, you know, ask me for advice. Um, so I have a, a unique opportunity to serve you all, and I'm so, so blessed to be able to do that. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart. So today's message, you know, is basically just, um, we all fall down, we all stumble, uh, but we got to get back up. Uh, we cannot live in a state of self-pity, uh, fear, um, you know, sadness. We have to pick ourselves up from that. You know, we're all going to go there at times, um, uh, the devil and, you know, just life itself is going to creep in, you know, so we're all going to get there, but we have to pick ourselves up immediately. It's like falling off a bike, you know, you just get back on and you keep trying and you keep trying. Um, so that's just my message to you guys today. And that's, that's where I've been the last few days. You know, it's been a little difficult. It's like, if anything could go wrong, it's went wrong. Uh, but I, I am blessed. I am blessed because I always have my father with me and I can always go back to that place of uh, tranquility and uh, peace. And, um, and I'm, I'm truly blessed to have that. So, uh, so yeah, that's today's message. You know, we all fall down, we all stumble, but we got to get back up. So uh, I hope this uh, reaches you today wherever you are in your walk, uh, no matter if it's day one or if it's day 261. Uh, just stay strong, stay strong. Uh, don't forget why a lot of times when we start this journey, we're all pumped up and we're ready to go. Um, but by day 261, we've lost that flavor. We've lost that, 
that that gas and that that momentum but if we could just remember why we started it in the first place we could just get that hunger back um, then it will it can sustain you just remember why you're doing this what you want from it the goals that you have for yourself uh, and just you know keep uh, achieving them you know day by day just take it day by day um, we make mistakes we get off meal plan we eat a whole bunch of food or we don't exercise for a week or uh, or just you know different social issues that come up in our lives we make, we make mistakes every day but just today is a new day you are alive you are well and today is a new day to start fresh uh, better than you did yesterday so yes uh, we all fall down, but we all must get up. So uh, please, I hope this inspires you to get up off of wherever you're at right now and uh, have uh, positivity in your life and just go after any goal that you have for yourself. All right, you guys have a great and blessed day.